Welcome to the season premiere of Raw, or season premiere of Angelo's Raw Talk, if I can say that. I can say it. This is this is my video. This is this is my show. You're you're here not because of the title or anything. It's because of me. I noticed that every time before the video starts, I'm like, Raw was awesome. Raw was perfect. Raw was amazing. Where is the excitement of you watching through the video to see if actually Raw was amazing? So I'm not gonna say anything now. It's just the season premiere and the show was kicked off by Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn came out and was like, I must be really upset that Kevin Owens got traded. And he got traded because of Jey Uso. And I don't know how to feel about Jey Uso. And then the Judgment Day came out. And they were like, Sammy, we're gonna beat you now. We have a problem with you. And then Jey Uso came out. And he saved Sammy. That was the whole opening. Down. No, I'm just kidding. We're not doing that here. But I saw a guy man tweeting something. And he was like, please end this. This feud is continuing for months now. It's ridiculous. But on the contrary, do you remember Finn versus Edge? Do you remember this? Do you remember the Judgment Day versus Edge? It continued half an year probably. It was kind of ridiculous. After that, we got an interesting one. Shinsuke Nakamura versus Ricochet. And of course, you cannot give the victory to Ricochet because Shinsuke Nakamura just came out of a grueling match, super close match to become world heavyweight champion, but he didn't. So right now you should give him the victory. Ricochet can eat one more loss and he will move forward, but Shinsuke Ricochet, Shins did I just say Shinsuke Ricochet? Shinsuke Nakamura needs to go back up to that world championship picture, please. After that we had a strange one, yeah, I'm gonna keep it like that. Strange one. Natalia versus Piper Niven. Because Natalia is friends with Tegan Knox and the tag team champs are having problem with Tegan Knox and basically Piper Niven just squashed Natalia. I thought it's gonna be a squash match. I'm not gonna lie. I, I just even skipped and I was like, eh, the match is not gonna be more than 20 seconds. It was solid like five to 10 minutes match. It was like, holy. Of course, Piper Niven won with her amazing finisher. Here you can see the finisher. Amazing, like no other finisher, like grueling, devastating piece of art, if I can say that. After that, we had an amazing segment with Seth Rollins and Drew McIntyre. Last week, I said to you that I see Drew McIntyre and Rhea in the back. Of course, it was intentional because Seth brought that up this week. And we can hear from Drew McIntyre that he cannot move on from the bloodline and the fact that he was carrying the championship throughout the pandemic. So Seth brought that up and he was like, just leave that behind you because if you don't leave that behind you, these demons are gonna come up for you and you're not gonna be able to be a champ. Basically, that's what he said to him. And I'm excited to see how Drew is gonna jump him from behind next week, even though Drew is saying that he wants him at 100%. Also, maybe he's not gonna jump him from behind this week. Maybe it's gonna be next week because next week we have Drew McIntyre versus Sami Zayn because Sami Zayn said to him that he needs to move on from the bloodline and Drew was like, everyone relates to me these days, no one understands me and he's like an emo child, maybe he, he should join the Judgment Day, right? Ludwig Kaiser versus Johnny Gargano and I, I just, 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 just don't understand why we keep giving losses to Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa. Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano are such a sensitive subject Subject. Please give them all the wins. Please give them all the wins, especially now when they're back as DIY or maybe maybe handle them the losses so they can have a greater comeback. I don't know, but I, I was kind of upset because Johnny Gargano was about to take the W. Giovanni Vinci interfered and after that Ludwig Kaiser finished and yeah he won and yeah, I don't know when Gunther finished his match he said that next week he doesn't want to see Johnny Gargano walking in the backstage he wants him stretchered out of the arena so maybe we're gonna see some devastating stuff or someone will help Johnny Gargano or Masu Champa will come back or 
I don't know, but something will happen. Imagine that I was really excited about Rhea Ripley versus Shayna Baszler running back NXT days, but it was not a clean match because at some point Nia Jax came out, and after that Rodriguez came out, and after that Stark came out. It's not Tony Stark. Shit, man. Zoe Stark. Yeah, that's her name. Zoe Stark. Zoe Stark came out. And all of that shenanigans happened. Zoe Stark was the last woman standing in the ring. We go backstage. Rhea was really unhappy. And she was like, uh, Pierce, what is going on? And Pierce was like, I'm sick of this. Let's do this my way. And you're gonna have a match between all of them at Saudi Arabia, at Crown Jewel. Are you fine with that? And Rhea was like super nervous. She was like, okay, I'm gonna deal with this. Also, while we are on the women's side of things, I just wanted to mention Becky handling championship opportunities to everyone, which is great, but at the same time, where do we draw the line? Because she gave a title opportunity to Indy Hartwell. She's gonna give title opportunity to Zia Lee. She's having a match at Halloween Havoc. At some point, even Jade Cargill was like, she pointed that championship and was like, she was like watching the championship. But I was like, Jade, stop. Jade, Jade watch the Women's Heavyweight Championship or the Women's Championship. Don't watch the NXT Championship, Jade. Go to Raw and SmackDown, Jade. Jade. Even though I said in the past, I would love Jade to go through NXT and pummel everyone. I love Jade Cargill. She's, she's absolute star. I don't know if she's gonna ever have a match, but I love her, you know? Gunther versus Bronson Reed was a match that everyone is upset that I don't pick as the best moment for tonight's Raw. Because I picked Ricochet's uh, shooting star press, I feel like this move is way harder than the power bomb that Gunther did in the end to Bronson Reed. I don't know, who knows? It was a hard hitting match, it was a hard match, it was tough match, it was amazing match. Amazing? I wouldn't say so. We saw that Bronson Reed is probably credible as well, but we all knew that he's gonna lose. That's why I didn't pick it, because we knew the outcome. We knew that Bronson is gonna lose. We knew that Gunther is gonna take that IC championship. It's, he's, he's gonna continue his reign. I cannot make a whole sentence without making a mistake somewhere. Gunther won. He's having still that IC championship. We went to the back, to the Alpha Academy, where Chad was saying, I'm going back to the IC title, and we're going to the Tag Team Championships. And Akira Tozawa was amazing. Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods, the New Day, came out there and was like, if you're mentioning the Tag Team Championships, you cannot mention us. You cannot, I made a mistake there, but basically next week they're gonna have a match. That's all I wanted to say, I swear. Last but not least, the biggest disappointment, the biggest disappointment, I, I'm gonna go out of screen for this one. The biggest disappointment, guys, Cody Rhodes and Jey Uso versus The Judgment Day. I said numerous times, please give them at least couple months, man, please. We all knew that this is not a long-term thing. Jey Uso should be alone, Cody Rose should be alone, but at least give them some time, they're comedy gold. And what happened? Judgment Day lost because of Jimmy Uso. Yes, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because we all know that Jay Uso and Jimmy Uso are gonna be at WrestleMania and they're gonna face each other. But why they're doing it now, from now, it's October. There is so much time until April. Why? Just why we're doing it now? Maybe, maybe they're gonna start feuding from now and the third part is gonna be at WrestleMania, you know? And the other feud is gonna be Cody versus Roman. And I don't know. I want next week to come to see what's gonna happen with Jay and Cody, with Jay and Sammy, with the Judgment Day. And yeah, that's it from me, boys and girls. That's it from my Raw review, Angelo Raw talk. Yeah, the show was amazing. I just said it. I just said it now. I said it for us. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm gonna see you tomorrow for NXT. Peace.